Thanks for your interest in our Wi-Fi cameras. All models are made with same high-quality Wi-Fi module, so you can have multiple SCS Wi-Fi cameras working on a single app. There is no registration requirement and no monthly fee whatsoever. Setup is easy, but you must follow our instruction. Do not follow the one on the app because it is also made for other brand cameras, and they set up differently. Let's get started. Connect power to the camera using the provided power adapter or direct plug-in, depending on the model you have. The green or red LED light will come on. The LED light is not bright to avoid drawing any attention, so please watch it closely. Wait until the light starts to double blink. Go to your app store and download the app, IoT Living. When you install the app, make sure to allow all permissions such as notifications and your album. Do not open the app yet. Go to your phone setting and turn the Wi-Fi on. The camera SSID that starts with SCS will appear. Click on it and input the direct Wi-Fi password 0123456789 to connect. This is one-time direct Wi-Fi password, not the camera password. Wait until the check mark. It will say no internet available, and that is normal, since our camera is not an internet service providing device. Now, open the app and click on the plus icon. Select manual add method. Then choose search camera from LAN. Camera will be found. If not, press the refresh button. If still not found, the reason may be because your phone is automatically avoiding any connections that does not provide with internet service like our camera and such as a drone or a cleaning robot. This is not a known issue for an iPhone, but for most Android phones will have this Wi-Fi connection features and you will need to disable all settings regarding it and try again. Click on the camera and proceed. Name the camera whatever you would like. The default password is ADMIN, and it's already embedded, so just hit the check mark for the next step. Oh, by the way, for an iPhone, if this message pops up along the way, please stay on Wi-Fi. You have successfully added a camera to the app. Now we will need to configure the camera to make connection to your network, so the camera will have a full remote P2P capability. You are almost there. Please hit OK. This is the main screen. Camera should be online immediately because your phone is directly connected to the camera using direct Wi-Fi. If not online, please hard close the app and open it again. When online, hit the setup icon on the right. When prompted to change the camera password, please ignore it for now. You can easily change the camera password later if needed. Press the setup icon again. On the main menu, click on Network Information. Camera will search for all nearby 2.4 GHz network. Press refresh if needed. If your router is dual band, please make sure 2.4 GHz frequency is turned on. Find your network and click. Input your Wi-Fi password here carefully. If you are not 100% sure about the password, please make sure first. Also, if your Wi-Fi password contains any special characters such as question mark, equal sign, space, etc., it will not work. Please change your Wi-Fi password or create an another network with alphanumeric only password. Final step, hit the check mark. Now, let's verify if the setup was successful. While the camera is establishing a connection to your router, check the LED light on the camera. If the light turns solid within about few minutes and remains solid, it is successful. If it continues to double blink, setup has failed. The reason is most likely due to inputting wrong Wi-Fi password. Please check and try again. Press the play button and watch the live video. Be assured that solid light means it is set up and working correctly. If it's offline, just hard close the app and open it again. Link to the full manual and our contact information is indicated on our quick setup guide that was included along with your purchase. Please refer to the manual for other troubleshooting and to learn how to operate the app for remote viewing, recording, playback, exporting files etc. If you need any help, do not hesitate to contact us. The best way is by texting and a live person will be there on the other side ready to help you. Thanks again for your support.